All right, so here we are. We've got Iron Man from Heroes Return. This is part of that uh, awesome Hulk uh, figure build. And we're going to go ahead and be taking a look at him today. We've got some artwork by Sean Chen over here from the comic book. We have our product shot on the back with some blasters and a couple of closed fists for Iron Man. Uh, again, awesome Hulk and the line that he comes in. We've got uh, Iron Man, Heroes Return, and we've got his product figure there as well. And then, of course, if we look at him, we've got Marvel. And then we've got Marvel at the top and Marvel Legends. So let's get him out of the box. Let's take a look at him, see what we've got. Okay, so we've got Iron Man out of the box here for the Heroes Return figure. He's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and take just a quick gander here at the figure a little bit more up close. So we've got gold for the for the majority of this figure. We're gonna have some gold paint and we're gonna have just kind of a more of a matte red for him. So we look at his face. He's got a little bit of silver in the mouth here. If I can get that a little closer. So some silver in there. And then of course the eyes are blacked out. Got horns here for the head, some gold paint along the, the molding here. Got some gold and texturing in his neck. So his head does go in a full 360. When we look at his head, it will bend down that far, and it will bend up that far. So if you like to do some flying poses with him, you're gonna have some pretty good flying poses. Arc reactor, of course, is a little different there. It reminds me of Wolf's Protasios version of it with the uh, Heroes Reborn. As you can see, we've got some molding in here on the chest. Got a collar with a little bit of gold paint on it. These shoulder cauldrons are attached to a piece of plastic right here. So they do lift up. It is soft plastic, so you can bring the arms up. So, dare I say, not do a full 360, but I mean, it's your figure. Uh, you do have the bicep swivel pinned double elbow wrists for the, for the clinched hands so this is the one of the accessories it comes with two clinched hands and two open hands with two clinched hands and two open hands as you see i've got both of them on here um, the clinched hand does have a horizontal bend on it like so and they're easily removed you just pull out the pin and you can put it right back in And then of course you have the open hand. Now the open hand does not have a horizontal or vertical bend on it because it's just open for the blaster shot. So you have your port here and on the bottom you have a port here as well. You have two of these blaster shots in just a translucent yellow. I feel like there could have been more here just to kind of accent the actual blast, but kind of get used to the fact that they don't have much happening with these. It doesn't look bad. I know I'm kind of skipping ahead here looking at the, that particular accessory. It doesn't look bad overall. I mean, like I said, it could, it could be a little bit better. And of course, you could plug them into the foot. So he has that blast off look. As far as the rest of the body goes, he does have the ab crunch. So you can move his abs and upper torso back this far. And you can crunch him about that far. He does have a waist twist. And of course, you have little side pieces here. They don't do anything. They're just pegged on. And then, of course, when we look at his legs, his legs will go up. They go up about that far. And because of the molding to the back here, his back legs don't go, or his legs don't move back at all. We do have a spin on the hip. We do get about a, that far as far as a blitz go. We have a pinned double jointed knee, which gives you about that much movement. Calves do spin, so you have that there. And then of course for the ankles, you can move the ankles left and right like that. You can move them down about that far and then they go up like so. I mean, like you're not getting much movement as far as the ankle moves up. So yeah, that's his articulation there. We are getting two of these blaster shots. And of course, we're getting an extra blaster hand. And we're getting an extra fist. 
So not bad for him. Okay, so we bring in for a comparison shot here. We've got Model 1 and we have Heroes Return. And that gives you kind of an idea. They're both about the same height. They're both six inches. So no change there as far as the armor. The, the points on the helmet here don't give it an advantage as far as height goes. And then we look at the side. And that kind of gives you an idea of how they both look from the side there. I like both of them standing together. Uh, I've got to build my own hall of armor, as it were. But this actually looks pretty good. The, the two of them together here like that. Okay, there we go. That is my review of Heroes Return Iron Man. I really do like this figure. I think this is actually pretty cool. I don't have a lot to complain about it. I think overall, this is going to fit in nicely with my particular collection of Iron Man figures. So I'm looking forward to adding them in there and getting them on display. Not much there I can ask for as far as more articulation or color or design goes. I hope you guys enjoy the, the figure review. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for your time.